Now, Post Bank uh, has a new CEO, and the state owned company has announced the appointment of Niki Ndombokolo Mbegashe. Rather, she'll be in the post from, uh, for the next five years. The entity faces a number of challenges, one of them being that it lost more than 18 million rand due to cyber attacks. And the Reserve Bank has also given Post Bank until December this year to fix its security woes, which include irregularities in the issuing of SISA grant cards. We speak now uh, on uh, the uh, Post Bank, uh, the chairperson of the board, Tabile Wong. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Tabile, for your time. Just give us the, I mean, the problems around the Post Bank generally. I guess with the new CEO on board, uh, we'd hope that uh, there, there would be more meaningful changes uh, coming along. Good afternoon to you, Cindy, and to your viewers at home. Uh, Cindy, it's such an exciting time for us as the bank. Uh, with Nikki coming on board and together with few colleagues uh, at the executive level. We are busy capacitating the team, uh, thus putting it on a safe path uh, towards becoming a fully-fledged uh, state-owned bank uh, that will be geared uh, towards serving the poor, uh, towards ensuring uh, that the poor do play a significant um, role uh, into the financial services. So that's really uh, our focus at at the present moment and with uh, Nikki uh, coming on board uh, with a plus 20 years experience at the senior as well as executive level uh, together of course with the team that she will be leading we therefore believe uh, that uh, the bank is actually on a safe path uh, towards uh, delivery so that's really Cindy where we are uh, that we welcome Nikki uh, more especially the experience and the gravitas that she brings uh, into the entity uh, and as you mentioned, she's very well decorated, Nikki Mbegashe, especially when it comes to not only strategy, planning uh, and driving the vision for the bank going forward. Her experience in the financial sector space, which is going to be very cr critical if Post Bank uh, uh, will want to fulfill the, uh, your ambition to become a fully fledged bank. So for those who may not be familiar uh, with uh, Ms. Mbegashe and her background and why you have the confidence that the post bank is now in better hands um, Cindy from her profile uh, Nikki is an engineer by training and she completed MBA at UCT uh, business school uh, as I had mentioned that she's I mean she carries with her plus uh, 20 years of senior experience uh, within banking uh, within the financial services and looking at where uh, the post bank is at uh, where the financial services uh, sector is at, the banking landscape is at. Uh, she carries uh, the DNA, she carries uh, the skills, the experience, and uh, most importantly, the banking experience, what we we'll call the relevant experience, uh, to take the bank into, into the next um, you know, journey. And uh, looking again at the makeup of the sector, uh, that there largely, you know, remains, um, you know, uh, that uh, there's, there's, there's a huge sector uh, of the clientele or customers that are largely, you know, outside of the main uh, financial services sector. And that's really, you know, uh, the space and the focus that we've been on uh, in our quest, obviously, to drive financial inclusion. Hence, then, in looking at Nikki, her gravitas, you know, what she carries and what she brings, we therefore believe that... Uh, uh, she can and she will be able to help us uh, to get into where we should be going as the business. Yeah, but how much does she have to deal with in, in trying to fix Post Bank? Because uh, at some point, I mean, I remember my first bank card, I think, had been a bank book was with the Post Bank, and that uh, service was discontinued. There was a lot of uh, uh, programs that, that, that were not seen through. And uh, so the, the bank had regressed in, in, in some of the progress that it's made. In what state is the Post Bank, Mr. Chair? Structurally, um, <clears throat> Cindy, we might, not, we might not have moved, um, I mean, at the same pace as with all other banks. Uh, but of course, we are bringing other omni channels uh, into the space. So your question is, how much will she have to deal with uh, going forward? Look, um, Cindy, uh, we are in the process of registering to become a fully fledged and registered bank. 
We are in the process of adding our omnichannels uh, to make it easy uh, for our customers, clients, uh, to interact with us as the bank, to interact, you know, with the financial system via us. We are talking, of course, about, you know, uh, the ease of um, distributing our products and services. Uh, currently, we distribute via uh, the post offices, via the retailers, a uh, few retailers where our customers can go and withdraw, can go and deposit. Uh, and of course, we are talking, I mean, in line with uh, how the sector is moving, uh, the RPPs uh, going into the retailers, using your watches, using your phones uh, to interact with the system. So those are some of the things that, uh, uh, you know, we are bringing and some we've already, you know, addressed. You will recall that we went out uh, to the market about a month or two ago, actually two months, uh, on the cardless uh, solution where the beneficiaries, the SASA beneficiaries can actually withdraw uh, from the retailers using a cutless solution and that's something that we as the bank were able to deliver and drop into the market within uh, a week. Uh, it was tested uh, and it's working with no issues, uh, you know, that have been reported to us. So we are saying that, uh, you know, with Nikki coming uh, with few other executives uh, that are reporting to Nikki coming on board, we are able then to drive uh, some of these innovative, you know, uh, ideas and, and, and able to uh, come up with other innovative, you know, ideas for our clients uh, to interact with our bank. So uh, we might not have moved at a much faster pace compared to other banks, uh, but I will tell you now that, uh, you know, uh, plans are foot and uh, we have covered you know a significant ground uh, to be where we are now and and the part of that actually is you know confirmed by the fact that uh, look at um you know the gravitas uh, that nikki carries uh, that other executives carry you know carry who have said that they would like and they want to be part of the good work that we're doing so uh, the skills that we're able to attract as the bank uh, I mean, we've sent an, 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 an announcement into the market yesterday and look at the profiles of other executives other than Nikki. All right, and I'm going to just really, quickly, uh, uh, just in the interest of time, Tabule, this is not new. The announcement of a state bank has been on the election manifesto of the ANC, uh, f you know, for the longest time. My issue is that beyond the announcement, why has it taken so long even for the application process itself? And what are the requirements that the post bank would have to meet for it to be a fully fledged uh, state-owned bank? So we have done a lot. Perhaps we're not engaging the market on what you're doing. Number one, uh, we amend and have to address our IT infrastructure and that's the work that we're doing. It's almost complete. Um, that's one. And number two, most importantly, uh, to capacitate the bank at the executive level, that's the work that we've done. Nikki coming on board, other executives uh, coming on board. Uh, we should be completing the filling in of executive positions uh, by the end of you know next month, uh, maybe latest uh, September. Uh, and then the, after we submit the application, so 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 work is has been done work is being done uh, it's just that perhaps uh, i'll take it that uh, we do not advise the market uh, on a regular basis but a lot has been done uh, a lot of traction good traction has been you know achieved on our it infrastructure and when we talk about you know the omni channels uh, that can only be possible at the back of a a safe and proper IT platform and infrastructure. And I can yes. tell you now... Do you, that, uh, do you anticipate that there would be some uh, opposition, uh, maybe for the big five, that this could potentially create instability or take away their market share in uh, what the uh, Post Bank is trying to do? And naturally, the space is highly competitive. You compete in terms of skills, you compete in terms of price, innovation, and many other things. So inevitable, we do not expect that this journey will be easy. Uh, we do not expect that this journey will be easy. We are fighting for same uh, clients. Uh, our clientele, of course, is deeply entrenched uh, within the underbanked and the unbanked. That's where some banks have tried, but they just could not, uh, they can't crack it purely because the post bank is deeply entrenched 
uh, within the low end uh, market. Of course, we do have um, mid market, you know, uh, and upwards. So I'm raising this to say that to us, um, I suppose, the rising up. Uh, we are expecting a tough and stiff competition, you know, uh, from other banks. And that's actually what we need because a competitive, you know, sector also will challenge us to be much more innovative, uh, to think outside of the box and to, I mean, make sure that our technology uh, is poised uh, to help us to get to where we should be going. We are coming back, I suppose, to claim for our bigger share. Uh, we've got a solid uh, book, a stable clientele that's growing, uh, that's sticky, uh, and really we've got a solid base from which to build from. So it's exciting times. Uh, competition will inevitably happen, and that's what we expect. All right. Thank you so much for your time. That's Post Bank Board Chairperson Tabile Wongri uh, just congratulating the newly minted CEO and saying that they are attracting the best skills and they'll compete on an equal footing with the established banks.